Welcome to Education by Spencer. Today we'll be doing a fun interactive activity. Um, it's called Fundraising Event Survey. We're going to take a sample population and we're going to collect data, analyze it, and interpret it. Um, this lesson will deal with understanding the statistics of business and we'll be doing that by exploring target market and demographics. Next slide, please. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank my volunteer, Brianna Spencer. She'll be the one that's working today. Brianna um, has volunteered to do this particular assignment. And I'm going to go ahead and read basic, basically the word problem. Analyzing any survey consists of a number of interrelated processes that are intended to summarize, arrange, and transform data into information. Assuming you need to analyze the data collected from your survey, the process begins with a quick review of the results, followed by editing, analysis, and reporting. Okay, so today we're going to take the results that we got from the survey that we sent to the sixth grade campus and we're going to edit them, analyze them, report them. Okay, let's go to the next slide, please. Brianna, would you read our checklist before we start? Um, read, read for understanding, paraphrase in your own word, visualize the problem as a picture or a diagram, Hi Hypothesis. Hypothesis is a plan to solve the question, estimate to pre predict your answer, compute your answer by doing the arithmetic. Arithmetic. Um, check for understanding. Okay, because we're dealing with math today, we want to deal with this particular checklist. This checklist is very simple. We're not going to make it complicated, but this is what's going to help us to check or self-monitor ourselves as we go through this problem. Okay, let's go to the next slide, please. Okay, we're dealing with ticket prices. This is our visualization. What we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna take information that we collected from these charts and we're gonna analyze them and interpret them and report them to everyone today, okay? So, looking at the ticket price, uh, what kind of graph is that? Pie, pie chart? Yes. Okay, looking at that, the red, the color red represents the amount of students who are willing, to, the percentage of students who are coming to the dance that are willing to pay $15 to $20. The color blue represents the amount of students who are attending the dance that are willing to pay $10 to $15. What are the percentages? Um, you can estimate. 40 um, wants to pay 15 to $20, and 60 wants to pay 10 to $15. Okay. Now, y'all, remember that information because we're going to come back and interpret that. Right now, we're just visiting it to understand what's going on. Next slide, please. Okay. Here's our survey about time. Uh, the first thing I want you guys to notice is we got information in this particular slide that we don't need. Brianna, what are we concerned though? Are we concerned with the people who said no to the times or are we concerned with the amount of people who said yes to the time? Um, the ones that say yes. Okay, so now Looking at this line, this line graph, or is it a line, line? Line graph. Line graph, okay. Looking at this line graph, which time had the highest percentage of people or the most percentage of people who's willing to come to the event uh, um, agree to that particular time? From 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. Okay, good job. Remember that data. We're going to come back and revisit it. Let's go to the next one. Okay, this one here is analyzing the attendance, the actual amount of people who's going to show up. Okay, I need you to look at this. How many people 
There's 600 kids in the school. But how many kids are willing to show up? Just an estimate. Um, 260. You say 250? Yeah. Okay, so then how many are, are not going to come? What's 250 minus 600? 300. And 50. 50. So we got an estimate. This is just truly an estimate. We got 350 not coming, 250 coming. That is what we would call 600 students at the school is our market. The fact that we got 240 of them to show, that is our market share. And I know we talked about that in a couple of lessons previous. Okay, let's keep moving on. The ratio of females to males attending. Females will represent the light blue. Males will represent the dark blue. What is the, uh, the amount of students? Um, the females will be one... 150. 150, okay. That, I can live. And the male will be 80. The male will be around 80, okay. So, who is our target market? We know what our market share is. Who is most dominant? Uh, what is our target market? Uh, my target market is to get people to come. Well, no. Who will we. Most likely we'll target the hold females. Hold on. Why would we target the females? Because it's more people that buy the tickets. That's what I was trying to get at. And you said it without me having to do it. There we go. I like the process of thinking. Girls will be our focus or our target market. Now, don't get it. I almost said don't get it twisted. But don't, don't misunderstand what I'm trying to say. We're still going to have a campaign towards the boys, marketing the boys. But the girls is what's going to really make us money in this particular event. Okay, now, while we have all this information going on, let's kind of for, forecast to the future or, or think a little bit to the forecast. future. Well, yeah, basically it's what it is. It's forecasting. Will students attend more events? This is a survey that we took of just the students who said they're willing to come to our event. How many students are willing to come to our event? 200. And about how many are not willing out of the amount of kids that we have coming. 40. So in all, we have about 240 kids showing up. Okay, so now we're starting to be able to work our numbers. If y'all notice, Brianna was able to interpret her numbers. She might have been slightly off on a couple of them. And as we go over to the data, she already has everything framed in her mind. But we'll, be, we'll have to make a couple of adjustments to her numbers. But she gave some great esti estimates. Next slide, please. Can you take a step back, Miss Brianna? Okay. Please answer these questions based on the results from the survey. Please write your answers. Okay, Brianna has already did this particular exercise, and we loaded it up on the YouTube. I mean, on a um, on a PowerPoint for the presentation. I am going to let her explain what she has. Um, how many students are attending? It would be 200, uh, 240 out of 600. Um, the ratio of females to males attending, um, 160 females will attend and 80 male will be attending. So that's two out of one. Two, two, one. Two, one. Two girls to one boy. Two girls and two one boys. Now tell me this, while I got you talking, now, I'm sorry, go ahead and I, I'll come back after you finish this thing. Go ahead. Um, students paying 15 to $20, 95 out of 240. Students paying 10 to 14, 145 um, to 240. What is the best time to start? It will be 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. 80 to 240. Will students attend more events? 200 out of 24 say yes. Okay. Now, what is our market share? What's the percentage of the 
market share that we have for the school. I told you we're going to come back to all of that information that we got from that data. And this is interpreting and now you're reporting. So we did our analyzing. Now I need you to, to like tell me what is our target more. I mean, what is the market share that we have of the school? What, what's the percentage? 83? No. Or is it 60? No, 34? One thing you did was you guessed it. Another thing you did is you're not confident in your answer. And that's something that we're going to work on. Now, I'm going to ask you again. Our market is the amount of students at the school. Our market share is the amount of students attending our event. What is the percentage of students attending our event? 40%. Okay, now let's speed up a little bit because this, this is running a little bit longer. Um, what is the... Which one is the best price for us to, to make more money on ticket sales? Um, 10 to 14. And why is that? Because more people said they'll be able to pay that. Okay, and even though 33% is not a very large percent of our students who are coming to the dance, uh, a, it's not a very large percent that said that they wanted to have it at 88 to 11. However, it was the largest amount in the survey. When we took the survey, we had more people to pick that uh, to pick that particular time than anyone else. Um, the last one, the forecasting. What does eighty-three percent mean to you? What would you do based off of that number, eighty-three percent? Um, add more ideas. Add more ideas or add more events. That's great thinking. I love how you uh, process where we're going. Okay, Jamar, can you go to the next slide, please? Okay, Ms. Brianna, I need you to do your checklist. Find the problem type. Did I organize the information using a, a biogram? Um, plan to solve the problem, solve the problem. Did you follow all of these steps? Yes. Thank you. And once again, this is Education by Spencer. See you next time.